Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 9th to the 15th of August 2021. While there's not much activity this week, I feel that's a good thing as we're coming out of the incredibly strong Leo New Moon yesterday on the 8th of August, which will have two weeks to deliver its message, but is strongest at the moment while the Moon is still in Leo. So take a look at where 16 degrees Leo is for you, which house it's in, and you'll be able to see how that can actually be activated on a more personal level. Each house represents a part of your life. I know it can be very confusing when learning astrology, but each section of your chart represents a different part of your life. So although the new moon was at 16 degrees Leo, it wasn't in the same place for everyone. Some people it could be relationships, other people in their career, other people's self-esteem. So it's worth learning the houses so that you can pinpoint some of these key moments and actually work with them more deeply, harness the energy and be able to activate them in your own life. So this new moon at 16 degrees we were talking about the breakdown to breakthrough aspect of the tower card. Tower is 16 in tarot and also 8-8 eight, eight, which the modern numerologists call the lion's gate and 8 is the number of strength in the tarot which has a lion on it. That as well as the Sabian symbol which is a poetic sentence, if you will, a bit like the I Ching, one for each degree of the zodiac, which is a brilliant sunshine just after the storm. All these three things together really do sum up the energy that we have at the moment. It feels like a turning point in the cycle, in the greater cycle of human history, as we have Saturn opposite in Aquarius. So we're going back in Aquarius in retrograde to really get to our fundamental core knowledge, wisdom, and self-sufficiency while all this golden heart and solar plexus energy is radiating through the sign of Leo. So higher consciousness, Aquarius is how we as individuals contribute to the whole rather than losing ourselves in the whole. So individuated consciousness and frequency contribution can add to a critical mass where everything takes a leap upwards or expands to a new level. So the decision here is to be part of the uplifting, slightly revolutionary energy that you see around you, but to know in your core what's true, what's right, what's supportive, what's worth building on and why. So we head into the week. There's not much happening as far as planets changing signs. But like I say, this is an opportunity to just soak in, find a bit of sunbathing for the month of Leo. Soak in the energies and burn out any dense matter. So by Monday I feel there's a fine balance between hope for the future and lingering worries and concerns from the past hanging in the air. So can we take the light from the former to blast away the remnants of our old system of belief that's still at play or plaguing us? By Tuesday I feel that there's a strength and wisdom combined with the Sun in Leo and Saturn in Aquarius which will bring many blessings for those that have been authentic. So Saturn asks us to do the hard work, to do things properly with discipline, discernment, but then Leo is the month that can bring in the natural blessings and the start of the harvest of that. So as we embrace our sovereignty and our natural abundant state, let go of the psychological trappings, start to focus on what really matters, building a new world out of the one that's been gently deconstructed over the last few years, then our energy goes towards excitement, vision, passion, and that in itself is not only a boost for the soul, but a boost for the health system as well. If we decide to put our energy into something that really matters to us and is of high vital life force energy. On Wednesday, it's the last day of Mercury in Leo. So we capture the light, appreciate all the positive new perspectives that have been flooding in to liberate our mind. And as Virgo season comes in, we get to put all of this into practice. As this is a year like no other, any fundamental changes that we make will reap great rewards and really be worth it. So there's some more integrity there, but to take the perspective that we've changed, because that's really key, you can change your mind. It changes a lot. So with the critical thinking of Aquarius, to be able to change our mind to see what's really 
true and relevant right now, then put that into practice. That's going to be the tone of the Virgo season that's coming. And by Thursday, Mercury moves into Virgo. Mercury is opposite Neptune at the moment in Pisces. There's a fine balance here of thinking and feeling. Also our ability to cleanse our mind and the cells of our body, because Virgo is the mind and Pisces is the cells. Of all the old programming, we'll be super strong this week in this alignment. So really being able to let go, not just having changed perspective of the old thoughts and beliefs, but rinse that out because our thoughts do have impact on our body and we can hold in the cells of our body the emotional story that goes along with erroneous thoughts. And this is partly why I do personal training on the physical level to help people release out of the body once they're ready to truly let go. So a nice cleanse there on Thursday. By Friday, very magical day to be focused, heart-centered and to manifest. Fridays are often quite strong days. The collective tends to slow down and cheer up a little bit on a Friday, which is ruled by Venus. And I'm being shown that this is actually a beautiful day to stop at the end of the week and start to really focus on your excitement, your passion and your joy. Then quite a power weekend coming up. Balance tipping into the favour of the good and the visionary. Starting to get motivated and get creative. Now you know your true self, what you want, and more importantly, what you wish to contribute. So taking all this together, not many shifts and change, just a feeling of growing power, growing expansion, letting go of the contracted, peeling off some layers, putting into practice our sovereign mind and starting to focus on our dreams and our soul desires. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available for readings, coaching and to teach astrology, tarot, numerology online and you can email me and we can arrange a chat to see exactly what it is that will benefit you. I post on Facebook at AstroZo, Instagram at ZoeHind7 and these videos and more are on my YouTube channel, Zoe Astro. So those are the horoscopes this week and I'll see you next week.